it's great to hear classical musicians actually going towards our world, uh, which is quite rare. Usually um, jazz musicians can read music and sometimes go into this classical world and interpret um, classical um, music with classical orchestras, but it's rare to see classical musicians, um, especially orchestra musicians, not usually, you know, soloists that accept, you know, this kind of challenge to, in the middle of a classical piece, to just go out and improvise. So I think that's, that's really great and it shows how open-minded this orchestra is. Mozart is somewhat holy in the respect that it, it comes into a context of very serious, considered to be very serious music, but I'm sure that you know, he had a lot of fun making this music and he probably, we don't have any recording of this or record, he must have tried maybe not a blues, but he probably improvised for hours around this and he was a great improviser and he had a lot of fun with it. So we're trying to have fun and explore the music, you know, this is something that is lost in classical music unfortunately. Um, the spirit of, okay, the text is there and it's sacred, so don't touch it. Um, okay, yes, okay, but maybe there are other ways of also um, getting into um, the composer's mind and, and trying to explore different things. I don't know, I don't have the answers, but I think it's, it's a legitimate uh, attempt. Mm -hmm.